What's up, Yogi? It's Hero. And today we're going to cover a little bit of ankle mobility, which is important if you're struggling with getting your heels down in downward facing dog, or if you're having trouble keeping your heels down in malasana, a squat, or even if you're working on pistol squats, this is going to be great. So first thing we're going to do is test out our down dog. I think it's a good way of checking in with how these exercises really affect your flexibility, range of motion, um, mobility, essentially. So I'm going to test mine out. Coming into a down dog position, and even though my heels are down, we're going to talk a little bit more about engagements. So for downward facing dog, as much as you're pushing the heels down, you want to push down through the balls of the feet as well. And you want to keep the inside of the foot, the inner arch lifted. So we're going to talk about that here. First thing we're going to do is um, test out our ankle mobility. And it, I call it the four inch test. Typically, a good normal range of ankle flexibility is moving the knee four inches past the toes while your heel is down. From here, starting from just a lunge position, very actively pushing down through the ball of the foot. I'm gonna switch feet so that you can see the inside of my foot. I'm pushing down through the ball of the foot. I'm pushing down through the heel and I'm trying to lift up the inner arch of my foot. Essentially, you're trying to shorten your foot up. Now, I don't like to use hands because I want to test out my own strength in this ankle mobility position. So I'm gonna keep the heel down and start to move my knee forward and see if I can get it about four inches or test it out. Important part is as you move the knee forward, you wanna be able to come back on your own. And I think that's a good way of testing out its own mobility strength in movement. Okay, so try this out maybe like five times. I'm only gonna do it twice so you can see that, I'm gonna do it three times, so that you can see I'm trying to keep my inner arch lifted while I'm still pushing down through the ball of the foot and I am gripping down with my toes a little bit here. Next is actually stretching out the ankles. I like to come onto the tops of my feet, spread all 10 toes, actively pressing down into the ground. And here I am leaning back. And as I lean back, lifting up the knees a little bit, but I'm still very actively pressing down through the tops of my feet. If you need to use hands, you can, or if you're having trouble getting your ankles down and you're in this position, that's okay too. Just lean back, start to work on opening up the front part of your ankle, okay? Come back and try to apply that same exercise idea in your downward facing dog. From here, actively pressing down through the balls of the feet, actively pressing down through the heels, but also lifting the inner arches at the same time. All right, give these a try. Let me know, give me a thumbs up, comment if you have any questions. I would love to answer any of your questions.